hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a fabulous day today is cold and rainy and just it's cold and i love it i honestly love it i hate humidity so i'm feeling this cold weather i've got my hoodie on no jewelry no makeup hair in a hair mask and thought it would be a great day to do some videos so Today I just wanted to show you my newest small leather good from Chanel. It's something that when I first saw I did not want and then got to play with it and fell in love with it. So I love Chanel small leather goods. I'm so addicted to them. I think they're so much fun and they're really pretty and useful and they're just beautiful. So this is the new spring 2017 boy so boy chanel card case come on out it is black on black so you have the black green lambskin hmm i'm still sticking with my lambskin here i didn't go to caviar but it looks just like caviar doesn't feel like caviar it is a grained lambskin and it has the black leather with the black hardware and the black hardware is fabulous in the camera it looks a lot different in real life it's really black on camera it looks kind of gray but in real life it's black rich deep black and so is the grained lambskin it's coming up kind of grayish and off black so it has the beautiful boy piping surrounding the car case and then it has this really beautiful nice size uh, Chanel boy closure and the card case is really nice I don't know if you guys have these these are really popular but they become my favorite uh, I don't use long wallets anymore I just love these card cases and I love them because you can put everything in here I mean the back I have a little system in the back, I keep all of my cards and my cash, and in the front, I keep my driver's license and my medical info. So everything's pretty much organized in this little thing. I love it. So back to the case. It is from 2017 spring, came out a few months ago, and I was lucky enough to have a sales associate that tracked it down for me because in the beginning, I didn't was not a fan of the grain lambskin. The grain lambskin is so much like caviar, as you can see, it's stamped, which is a pulped stamped leather. It's not luxurious and pluff, pluffy. That's a new word, pluffy. It's not luxurious and um, puffy um, like regular lambskin. It's not even as pluffy as caviar. It's just um, a little bit thinner. What makes it really nice is the... Um, the boy piping which is really enforces the corners so I think it's gonna be a great piece I love the black on black I think it's really interesting uh, by the way SO black stands for special order it's a term that Hermes used a few years ago well quite a while ago for one of their special order pieces black on black hardware and then Chanel kind of adopted it as well and Chanel so or special order black has gone back years and years there was a piece that was made a medium large like oh maybe 15 years ago i'm not sure and then in 2012 2013 the traditional jumbos came out with the so black with the matte hardware but i love the shiny hardware it reminds me of a bag that i have which is a maxi from 2009 in metallic lambskin that is stunning it's just gorgeous i love metallics i wish that they had a um rainbow hardware and a iridescent card case that's i gotta have that i love hello hello graphic stuff I love it so um I'm sorry I'm a little bit blah brained today <laughs> so yeah this is my new case let's read the tag together in case you want to try to find it um if you do have a good sales associate I'll tell you Neiman Marcus bought this and I got mine from Neiman Marcus I did have a great sales associate helping me um let's read the tag together okay so it is 475 and it is 
spring 2017. So if you see, usually if it's a not a non-seasonal piece, you'll see like a, I think, what is it, OOV? I may be um, backwards with that, but that's what it is. And then you have your AY number. Now, I believe Neiman Markets does not use the AY system, but most places do. So you can call the 1-800 Chanel number and they should be able to help you with this to see who has any left. I'll just give you a quick little rundown on the AY number. So um, you start with the A number and that's the main style of the product. And then that Y number will vary in size and shape. Now, just as an example, I will talk about the boy bag. You can get a boy bag and this SO black boy bag and it will be the A number and then the Y number will change depending on the size of the bag. And then you have your color code here. So 94305, which is black. So I hope you guys like this. And if you do want to try and find it, and if this helps you, by the way, in Chanel verbiage, anything that has uh, is a small leather good is an O case. So if you call Chanel or you walk into a boutique and you say, hi, I'd like to see your O cases, they, if they're in the know and they know social media and they're kind of like, know what you're talking about they're going to point you to the pouches that we all call the oh, here let me find mine they're going to point you to the um one of these the what we call the o case right but in chanel land the o case is everything that's a small leather good it's a makeup case it's the document holder it's the small wallet it's the card case it's everything so o case is a general term it's like walking into a boutique or calling a boutique and saying can you show me, you know, the red bag? And they're like, well, what red bag? You know, so it's just a general term. And um, what happens is on social media, we get used to some lingo and used to some verbiage and the sales associates might not have the same verbiage. That goes like with the reissue and the 255 being the, you know, small, medium, large versus being the medium and the jumbo and maxi. Anyway, okay. <laughs> All right, so th this is my newest purchase. I also um, got this during the holidays and I didn't do any posts about it or any video about it. Uh, oh, by the way, guys, I wanna tell you, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for um, interacting with me on Instagram. I have a confession, I suck. I, you know this already if you do have any interest in me and my stuff. I, I, I really am bad at social media. I, I, I don't. I'm totally envious of people who have full lives and still post amazing pictures. Mine suck. Like, I will go and take a picture, boom, and then I'm like, all right, that's good enough. And then I'll try to alter it because it's always, like, at night. It's never a natural pretty light. I'm just, I don't know. I need to take tips from you guys. Like, how do you fit it into your day if you're, like, a very social person and do things? How do you have time and just, I don't know. I have to make time. If I really, if it's interesting and if it's something, right, I'm just, I'm lazy. All right. So the, this is something I got and then I never showed anybody. I don't even think I really showed myself, but this is something I purchased and I got it to go um, with my trendy CC, which is black with gold hardware. Oh, the camera's not picking up the beautiful pearlescent sheen, but this is a beautiful classic card case. And then we got the funky, and then we get the classic, and this one's a little larger, and it does have the pocket on the back. And I'll show you this case in case you want to see it. So here's your um, numbers in case you want to try to track that. Oops, that's gloomies. <sighs> All right, the AY numbers underneath that sticker. If you do want me to show it to you, I will if you um, want to try to track it down. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, I have to have this. This is so pretty. It's so luxurious. It's so glam. It's lambskin. It's metallic lamb, which is my favorite thing in the whole world in Chanel. If somebody was to say, what's your favorite thing? It's metallic lamb from Chanel. I love metallics. And it was gold or silver, and I chose gold. What's more luxurious than gold? So that's my card case, and I'm just going to quickly zoom in and show you a bag that I love, and I will do some more talking about. It is a 2009 metallic gray lambskin, and I thought this case would look kind of cool with it. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I need to find a nice metallic gray. 
it's really pretty I love this bag I have a confession though I don't know if I should tell you guys because it's bad and you'll probably find out exactly who I am in real life if I show you but I haven't um I haven't worn this bag yeah I'm bad I've had this bag in my closet for almost 10 years I had the jumbo version of it and used that and now I still have my maxi and it stayed pristine. I'm bad, I'm bad, all right, all right. Um, okay guys, so help me with social media. Like, what do you, give me advice. <laughs> Should I, you know, just do it during the middle of a crazy work day? Do you guys do it when you're out and about? I felt guilty like if I'm out with my friends and I'm like, let me, like when I went, posted the picture of my jewelry, I had somebody take the picture and I was a little like, I was drinking champagne. So I was a little like intoxicated. There's a picture of me on with my bracelets and everything. And I felt a little douchey to say to my friends, you know, like, can you take a picture of my, um, we're in the middle of this fabulous conversation and I'm having so much fun, but Hey, take a picture of my hand. But my friends know that I'm weird and they know they watch my videos. Hi. And, um, my one friend is really cool because she loves bags and um, jewelry and makeup and she's on Instagram and she follows all you great, fabulous people out there. And I just so happened to meet her recently and we really bonded. So hi, Nicole. All right. What else did I want to say? That's it. This is my newest piece. I still have to film the, the Q&A video. I will definitely do that. Maybe I'll do the, maybe I'll organize myself, make myself a nice cuppa nice cup of tea and um maybe i'll do the q a video like i said i suck i suck at follow through with social media so if you guys have any advice on social media i'd love to hear it or point me to a channel who like I, I need to learn how to take nice pictures i did get a tripod look this is a ramble this is me i ramble and i ramble i did get a tripod and i that was a disaster. My husband and I tried the other night and we were like, okay, we're going to get into a big fight. <laughs> it's not working out. This is not working out. Like we try to put it behind my vanities. It, it's not good. I don't know, guys. I feel like I need an assistant to film a video. Yes, I'm not like lazy. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going to go make a cuppa and then I'm going to film the Q&A. So I love Chanel leather goods. I do. Does anyone want to see more? I have some more pretties that I haven't used. I'm bad. I haven't used. I did finally use this one, and I love it. And it is caviar. Do I wish this was lamb? Maybe not, because maybe it'd be ruined. Let's see. I, don't even want, I haven't even checked. Oh, the corners still look good. All right. I don't want to let you go. Okay. I will talk to you soon. I'm off to go read some questions on my Instagram Thank you for the few and far between members, members, people that um, ask me questions. I appreciate it. Look, I know there's like a few of you that watch my videos. Um, I appreciate it. I really do. I want to give a shout out to some, some really loyal people in the Q&A video. So stay tuned. Bye. Okay. Shut off now.